<laughs> she steals again. I will cut her hands off with scissors. I don't care if she's six months or six years old. Are we live, man? Yeah. All right, well, welcome to episode number 16 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. This is episode number 16 now. Yeah. Do you, what's the song that we were singing today? It's gone. No, no, the one that, the one that you sang yesterday that caught us in the late afternoon today. Yeah, yeah, that one's gone as well. No. It'll, it'll come back. It'll come back eventually. You don't want to fush, fush it. Dude, James, what was the one that we were just singing like an hour ago? Fuck! <laughs> Matt, you missed out. You missed out on some. Yeah, good Matt, you missed shit. out. You were a in an office. There was you a were good in an office. I was in an office today. Yeah. There was a good jingle that we will think about halfway you know through this podcast. I was and it's watching gonna you. Make everybody laugh. Anyway, fucking hell, man. The um, the li- you know that lying oh, thing we did last for week. The longest time. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 for, for the longest time. time. Yeah, that's a good. Have song. you heard that before, Matt? Yeah, I think so. It is good. Sing that with your friends and see how many times you laugh. Oh, <laughs> but like real seductively next to the fridge and turn and say for the Even longest time. Even when there's time. no one else there. <laughs> yeah. Can you give us one like throughout the podcast, please, Matt? A what? A, a song? Oh, yeah. no. A whoa, whoa, whoa for the uh, longest time. A song time. if you want. For the long one. Whoa, whoa, whoa for the longest time. Oh, maybe time. not. Yeah, yeah, no, terribly, terribly off key. Yeah. Terribly Fuck. off key. Uh, the, lying, <laughs> the lying segment caught up with us a bit today, didn't it? Bloody um, oh. Jackson got us back. Yeah. He fucking. What did oh, he do? Oh, man. He gave, he, we, uh, we were asking for a certain person's number for the Bachelor Brown segment. And um, he gave us someone else's number. And then we called that person thinking it was another person. And it was just a fucking awkward conversation. (laughs) (laughs) We fully lined up the Bachelor Brown and then got a message from another friend saying, hey, dude, this friend's just messaged saying they think it's you. They said that you've just told them they've got to be on this podcast. And here I am thinking that I was talking to another person and they were cool with it. (laughs) You've got to be on the podcast. It's going to be funny. Yeah, we'll probably call you in like two hours. And she was like, I'm at work. Yeah. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, like when- You you have a job? (laughs) We'll just call you after the work. And then like basically it got to a point where it got real awkward and like things were thought to be real and they weren't. It backtracked and then it was so confusing. It was <laughs> so, so well confusing. done, Jackson. But the lying pr- uh, segment is having ripple effects all throughout the land. Oh, is, is there Lockie, a- Lockie, Lockie didn't find out for <laughs> yeah, fucking ages. What was the what was the outcome yeah, of so, the last lie? So he, him, and Jackson started messaging me. Oh, can you like show me that email that Facebook sent to you? Messaging representatives. <laughs> yeah, and Jackson picked it. Jackson said, "No, nah, they're fucking lying. They're fucking lying." <laughs> <laughs> and Lockie was so cut. <laughs> and he's like. Oh, I'm not going to believe anything you ever say to me. He's like, I'll pay you $50 each if you can like convince me of a lie again. So today we thought we're yeah. going to call him yep. and we're going to try and lie to him saying that there was an earthquake, which there was. So it's not a lie. Yeah. It's a so lie. It's reverse psychology it's a, shit. Well, it's, it's the lie is that it's not a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes this segment itself deceitful. <laughs> Wait, so Brisbane had an earthquake? Yeah, well, yeah, it was a fucking time. Is everyone in Brisbane right? could do that? Yeah, it's fine. Greg uh, Shelton, did you see that one coming? Greg Shelton loves earthquakes. Yeah, very mini little earthquake. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, we have to apologize. Oh yeah. What? So, yeah so last week um, uh, we obviously did a PO box opening. We did do it. Unfortunately, we had a little glitch and um, and it didn't uh, get didn't make the cut. It didn't make the cut. Even. But um, in honor of that PO box, I'm wearing the Jasmine. That's shirt. what we got. And thank in you last for week's- the ghost shirt. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got in last week's PO box. So now you've seen it. You've missed out on nothing now. All right. Yeah. And it we've got more an, PO box shit today. An entire episode to itself. We're gonna prank call that billboard dude again. I'll be Rhonda this time. Oh, I'm so. We got so a Bachelor Brown. We got questions. We got Matt Brown's black book. We got Michael's oh. Bible. It's a fucking jam fucked episode. And Lockie, the lying to Lockie segment returns too. And Matt's just seen that it's the code dude. <laughs> <laughs> the PO box. We've just received. We've Matt's just yeah, seen. I we've just received a letter from like, his, oh, his number one hater. <laughs> his number one hater has sent some hate mail in to the oh, Browns. So oh my it's god! Very important. <laughs> What's he said or now? Can I have a oh no! Well, yeah, it's <laughs> is it too fucked to say? <laughs> 
<laughs> just the top one. <laughs> Matt Brown's mum is a porn star. Hey. Sorry. Don't start that rumor. Anyway, um, guys, we are running currently running a competition for our podcast. We will be selecting one comment at total random from throughout this entire season and giving them one thousand dollars. All right. So any comment you drop on our Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel is in the running to win a thousand dollars. So the more you comment, the more chances you have of fucking winning. I right, was going to randomly pick one. So make sure you watch the season finale. And of course, we also have the cow, the comment of the week, which is where we pick the best comment we think out of all of the comments on last week's episode. And we put the winner on a board. And then at the end of the season, we give another thousand dollars to one of the comments on the board. So it's like the one that most made us laugh most. Yeah. And the UOM members who are like members of the website will vote to see who is the cow winner. Fucking oath it will. Oh, before we finish shit talk, fucking uh, my fucking toilet, the whole house is flooded with shit. What? Do you know what's happened? The whole whole house is flooded with shit. Your home, uh, your actual Yeah, the toilet, toilet was clogged like fucking... Three days, so acting weird, and then it got clogged up. What do you mean it was acting weird? It was just making weird sounds when we were showering, or like it would all the water would go, and then it would all the water would be high all of a sudden. So I was just being a bit off, you <laughs> yeah. know. And oh. then and then it just fucking the one upstairs. Um, whenever we showered, sh- fucking shit and everything would fly out of the toilet downstairs. So the whole <laughs> brown, the whole downstairs had shit everywhere. So we had to get oh, no. the, so we got the emergency the- plumber. Yeah, the, all, yeah, and fucking, um, there's fucking uh, roots and shit through the pipes. Oh, so oh. They've, they've bursted through the pipes. Yeah, the, the roots, have pushed, roots have pushed through. So now they literally, they're still at my house now. It's like fucking 6 p.m. They're off to get an excavator and they have to dig down in my front yard and find the pipe blockage, pull it out and stick it all back together. They're going to be there for hours because it's an emergency. They have to. Holy shit. shit. And this has been like this for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting worse and worse. What's the, what's you think that you'd be like? straight onto that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we messaged our real estate and they said, oh, we've contacted the landlord. We'll let you know what he says. <laughs> Even though there's Honestly, shit. The whole house smells of shit and piss. It smelled like fucking a third world country, dude. It was seriously <laughs> so bad. But anyway, it's fixed now. And uh, yeah, that's shit talk. Have you ever, ever felt sponsors? Guys, Manscaped has sent us another package, right? I noticed there was some new stuff. And, right? some presents. They have got some fucking cool shit. You can get, you can get some fucking awesome shit from manscaped.com. All your male grooming products, okay? If you're a, if you fucking, if you ever want to have sex again, go to manscaped.com because you will increase your chances tenfold, Matt Brown. Really? Yes! Look at this. They've got, look at this. They've got these, the Plow 2.0. It's this really refined razor. Ooh. They've got cologne. They've got foot dusters. They've got crop cleansers and crop mops. They're fucking shaver. They've got the newest version out it's got a light when you use it so you can see where you're going and it's very hard to nip your sack you still can so be this careful the best thing so i could do it in the dark you can do it dark you baby can, while i'm at the park and take it brown. to like cl- nightclubs you don't have one of these yet brown but these are the fucking oh yeah ones. have that uh, actually i got one sorry have oh, you got really? one of the man's got, ones? Yeah, I bought when I got my package, I bought a weed whacker. Yeah, listen this to that. This literally just takes all the hairs out of your nose. Like you just shove it up your now. nose and then they're gone. Clear for cocaine. Can I do that too, actually? Mine are quite fucked. I don't like the feeling. I love, oh, I love it. it. It's like a really yeah, it's, it's a pleasure. A, it's a sensual feeling. I haven't done mine for quite some time. You quite can hairy. hear them being cut. Can't I you? wanna go. <laughs> anyway, manscaped.com. Have a look at the products. If you want 20% off of their awesome fucking shit, a fully actual 20 is the discount code and you will get 20% off everything. What is the discount code? That's crazy. Fully actual 20. Okay. Fully actual 20. Manscaped.com. Have a look at their shit. I guarantee you there'll be something there that you've never seen and you'll think, fuck, that's not a bad idea. I need that because I'm a dirty fucking pig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Manscaped.com. Oh, we're back, guys. 
we have another and, yeah, sponsor. Our second sponsor. Good old Nord VPN, right? They're back on they're the back, train. They're back for two more this month. And let me tell you about fucking Nord VPN, all right? These fucking cunts, right? These fucking <laughs> legend dog fuckwits, right? They do some good shit. It's 2022. Everyone needs a VPN these days, right? Why? Why, Marty? Why do I need a VPN? For security! So no one can track your shit. Do you have one, James? I used to. I don't download shit. Well, guess what? See, when James was doing illegal shit, he had a VPN. (laughs) So if you're doing any illegal shit, NordVPN is the best VPN. It does not. One of the only VPNs that doesn't slow your internet down at all. You get access to entertainment all over the world for only $3.35 a month. Cunt. 335. That falls out of my wallet sometimes and I do not even stop to pick it up. <laughs> I've been there. 335 a month for a two-year plan. That's fucking nothing. That's no money. That's not <laughs> that's not money. I consider it zero. And then there's 499 a month for the one-year plan. And if you use our code fully actual, you get a huge discount on top of that already low price and a free bonus gift do, do you want a present do you want a present yeah everyone yeah, wants everyone a wants a present yeah. all you got to do is sign up for nord okay for fuck all money and you get a gift plus an extra month free and there's a money back guarantee if you fucking hate it okay so you have nothing to lose so just give it a try nordvpn.com fully actual okay nordvpn.com slash fully actual use our code fully actual get out there and get it done cunt Fucking VPNs, cunt. I'm lurking in the shadows. Lurk all you like, Matt Brown. No one knows where you are with NordVPN. All right. And then, of course, the link will be in the description, okay, for Manscaped and for NordVPN slash Fully Actual. The links will be on YouTube in the description. For Spotify, you'll just have to type it in with your thumbs. Anyway, moving along to our final sponsor. The fucking, fucking crazy shit cunt fuck off, bitch. It's our subscription website, the University of Markle, where we post weekly videos. They're like 30, 40 minutes long, usually, okay? And it's got a fucked up video that we can't post to social media in it, like a, an, either a vlog, we're doing a few more vlogs, either a fuck science experiment, extended pranks, all sorts of fuck it's shit. It's a lucky dip. Yeah, and man, you can check it. For free. You don't have to spend any money to just have a look. Mm. It's a 21-day free trial. Link is in the description. Matt. Watch watch some videos. And if you like it, Matt, right, then you can choose to stay on because you're like, oh, I laughed so much that I want to laugh like this every week. Okay? If it does. If it doesn't, then you can leave, all right? And it's no skin off your back and you don't get charged any money as long as it's before the 21 days, okay? So you're saying I could... You could, you could do, do it. it tonight. You could do it tonight. You could sign up and then you have three weeks to get everything down your gullet, but you won't because it's over 200 videos now. You support our fans by wearing the shirts they send us. Because the fans support me. No, Matt's only podcast. He hates subscription website. <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> he hates subscription website because we do poos on each other. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't want to awaken the beast that lurks in the bridges <laughs> under his heart. Speaking of oh, bridges and noses, the brown, the what? book, the book. What about it? The block book. book. Okay, before we move on to oh. to the sickening. Oh, fuck! I just get worried now. Yeah, you sh- you fucking so many I lies and I can't deceits. Fucking in this look podcast. at you! I can't even fucking look at you. On this day in 1995. Jamie Oliver made a cake out of arteries. He ripped the arteries out of cows' necks and froze them until he had enough. Then he defrosted them all and made a cake with them. Not even his own father liked the artery cake. Ever since then, he doesn't like making dessert because he just doesn't understand them. (laughs) Yeah, I guess it's healthy. He's being healthy. Well, arteries probably are all right for you. Yeah, true. Human arteries? No, cow arteries from their neck. He ripped them out. So it's pretty graphic. And I'll give it to him. How thick? Uh, They'd probably be about that round, mate. Like, seriously. A good fucking 10 cent piece round cunt. 
Do you understand what I'm sort of saying there or not? Yeah, I feel yeah, that. Imagine that, having 10 cent pieces, thick arteries, cunt. Your blood would get so fast around your body, you'd be able to run at 200 degrees. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, fuck. Oh, all right. Look, here we go. Can we, Um, I'm a bit on edge about camera today. Like he fucks with you. I'll check. I can check. No, it. no, your hair. Did you see the move? No, I just uh, I'm a bit on edge. I I keep uh, having to delete a lot of things and right, 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 just, right. It's more like mine is still going. So you're saying your right. so you're saying your camera may have its storage full. No, because I've just is been that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm just been downloading heaps of um porn of, of our podcast. movies <coughs> no podcasts to make clips and sometimes I forget to delete and that's where we, we get sometimes. Well, we we're gonna have to be checking Mark, that Mark, every five minutes. Other way, yeah. Michael, you don't like it that way. Oh, I love it this way. No, no, you, you liked it the other way last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it changes. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay, everyone. <sighs> Moving along. Oh, yes, it's time. To the darkest, most self-pitying, <laughs> fucked thing that has ever sunk into your fucking ears, cunt. I reckon it's nice. I have in my hands... Dug, found in a grave site many, many moons ago. This was book was written. <laughs> He's like a hundred and something. He's one hundred and fifty nine years old. <laughs> Matthew Greg Brown has written in great detail every single fuck that he has received or given in this fucking black book in such vivid detail that I go home and cry vomit <laughs> oh no that's good okay James is leaving are you gonna hear oh. it he stood up to oh, hear James sorry got a I thought you were going home it's like disgusted with the black book silence <laughs> <laughs> so just to recap last week Matt Brown had to have himself to in order live. to keep his life going alright so now <laughs> it is time for his trial <laughs> here we go <sighs> <sighs> I spent the next two days recovering from the ordeal. I was near moments from death, but managed to survive. I found some jelly beans in my pocket. I gobbled them down like a starving child in a bakery and chuckled to myself. <laughs> the guards came to get me in the morning of my fifth day of isolation. It was trial day. I knew I must look absolutely horrific. They threw me a new prison u uniform, cuffed me, and took me to court. I felt nothing but despair. The rat fucking was one thing, but attacking that inmate and biting his cock and balls off will be hard to explain to the judge. Plus, I was weak because I had, it had been two days since I had had anything again. Once we got to court, I was appointed a lawyer from legal aid. His name was Bob trung and he was blind in one eye <laughs> he didn't speak a word of english and just shrugged whenever i spoke to him we entered the court and waited for the judge i asked bop if he'd even looked at my case and he stared at me with his completely white eye and shrugged all rise we stood as the judge entered i made eye contact with the judge and he stopped then he quickly looked away and kept walking how peculiar I watched him walk and there was something oddly familiar about the judge. He was tall, about my height, had long black hair, beady black eyes and a thick red beard and he was wearing a black judge's robe. I noticed the judge was purposely avoiding my gaze as he read through my charges. And Matt Brown, how do you plead? Hmm, even his voice sounded oddly familiar. Guilty, your honour. Care to explain your actions during your short stay in prison, Matthew? Your Honour, I felt I had no choice but to attack. I attacked because I knew if I didn't, I would have been killed later on. The judge stared at me, and then he smiled at me and gently shook his head. Sounds like self-defense to me. Cleared of all charges! And then he banged his gavel down. I was in total shock. I was certain I was going to jail for many years, but this judge had just cleared all my charges. Matt, can I see you in my office for five minutes? I'd like a word. I nodded, still in shock. I said goodbye to my lawyer and gave him a carrot. I left the courtroom and found the judge's office. I knocked nervously, still unsure about what was happening. Come in. 
I opened the door, and the judge was sitting at his desk, but had the chair turned around so I could only see his back. You have no idea who I am, do you, Brown? <laughs> You're losing your touch after all these years. Who are you? I needed to know. He slowly turned his chair, and when I saw the face without the beard, my jaw dropped. Question! Yes, Matthew, that's right. I've become a judge, and now I have helped free you. You owe me. I knew this day would come. If you don't return my favour, I will have you thrown in jail. My happiness turned back into despair, and my sloppy heart skipped ten beats. I was too weak to win a physical fight against Queston. Queston, you have bested me. <laughs> what do you want? I want to have you, Matt, right here, right now. My shoulders slump. Yes, Question. You may have me. On one condition, you let me have you too. I haven't had for two days, and I won't last much longer. Deal, my brother. I was still slumped in my chair, but undid my shirt buttons with one hand. Then I lazily pulled my pants down to my ankles. Question removed his clothing. His little brown was already pulsing. Its eye locked onto me. Question now stood over me, naked. He got down on his knees and with his thumb and pointer finger gently grabbed my floppy little brown and slowly wrapped his warm, brotherly lips over my cock. He started sucking slowly at first. We both maintained eye contact. I felt my little brown start to swell and my brother increased his sucking speed. Before long, I was rock hard and my brother munched and slurped on my hard little brown. <laughs> I grabbed the back of Queston's head and started thrusting against his sucks. Then Queston threw my legs over his shoulders and stood up. I was still in the chair, but now my legs were lifted up, which exposed my brown dot. Queston's slippery little brown glided into my guts. The feeling shocked me and I gasped. <laughs> Queston, while still looking deep into my eyes, started fucking me. My strong ass cheeks slapped against his hips with every thumping thrust. Queston grabbed my legs and dragged me onto the ground. He flipped me onto my belly. He got on my back and I presented my ass to him by lifting it in the air. Queston dove in, slamming his little brown deep within my body. He had one hand around my neck, and with the other hand he reached around and started tossing me off. He leant in and centrally sucked my ear. I could hear his saturated tongue slop and stab around in my ear canals. I turned my head sideways so he could reach my mouth. Our lips locked and our tongues wrestled as my brother continued to fuck my ass. I could sense he was getting close, so I pushed back into him so his cock slid even deeper into my core. Then I felt it. His dick erupted with stinking hot gravel. I felt his <laughs> gravel filling my insides as my brother ejaculated inside of me. I felt a part of my soul die. Crescent continued to toss me, and I too started coming. Bloody mints tumbled from my gout-infected cock. We both finished mincing, and Crescent's now flaccid, slippery little brown exited my body. There was a few minutes of silence as we tried to process what had just happened. Kristen started laughing. <laughs> I own you now, Matt. I am the Alpha Brown now, so I can have you whenever it pleases me. I was stunned, exhausted, and satisfied. Gravel continued to bubble and leak from my <laughs> asshole. I couldn't believe Kristen had finally bested me. Now get the fuck out of my office and enjoy the freedom I've given you. I'll be seeing you again soon, you fucking pig! <laughs> I wearily collected my clothing, got dressed, and headed home. Question was now the family's alpha haver, which meant I was vulnerable. At least I was free. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Gravel is the new term. And what the fuck? So your brother wanted to... Like just just became a judge, so he just could so because he thought that you would slip up one day and get arrested, so that he could look at your look at your case. That's intelligent, man. Just so he could get a he could fuck you. That's intelligence work. Question. Wow. So you know, how old were you there? Seventy something. <laughs> <laughs> how old were you there, Brown Town? When Question, your brother had sex with you. <laughs> Oh um, fuck! Very good. Yeah, that was a that great. Was, that tale. was. Thank you for that, Matt. Thank Honestly, you. thank you. Fuck you. Fuck you. For first of all, but thank you. I reckon. Thanks. I love that. Thanks that for great. sharing. But fuck you. Okay, you got away with a lot just then. 
You bit a man's <laughs> dick and balls off. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Just goes to show it's not what you know, it's who you know. And how you know it. <sighs> Mom! Mike! Fun. Be, I'd enjoy a musical. Like not, you know, Marty, can you see it? We literally write a storyline and have like. Yeah, yeah, but our musicals be could be anything like Let's Get Married Julians or just some Clelez and some Flelez. Yeah, exactly. Look, look, let's, we're about to sit down with a man who has just been fucked by his brother. <laughs> He's sitting on a toilet. Suck a Nolan and a <laughs> And we're back! All right, it's time for Bachelor Brown. And this is a segment where Michael and I, out of the goodness of our hearts, have decided to help Matthew Gregory Brown out by helping him find a partner. It's It's been tough going out there, right? He's, he's nearly 40 years old. I'm not He's all alone. Nearly. He's sitting on a toilet in a podcast. I'm 35. A, and, and he's fucking, he's struggling. He's, he's lonely, he's depressed, and he's really having a tough, tough time at home. <laughs> so Michael and I, we go out every week and we find a potential partner for Matt. We know what Matt needs in his life. Far better than what do he you does. Do you actually know what Far I Far better mean. than what you do. Okay. Far better. Look at us. Look at how May happy... Water? Look how happy and healthy our relationships are, oh, Matt Brown. Just a sip. Ready? So, the, we found the one, I reckon. This is the one. All right. How did last week's go? Yeah, yeah. Did you talk? Um, Just briefly. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's always briefly with you. Even sex. She did offer... A, <laughs> <laughs> she did offer um psychology uh, to me if I ever needed it. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Nice. Well, that's cool to have yeah. for free. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, we'll be inviting her back. Yeah, she might. She's top three, definitely. Is it but this, this one? The last one? Top three, the last one. Yeah. So this. All right. So yeah, we're gonna get a, a girl on the phone that wants to date Matt Brown, and awesome. we're gonna let them have a little phone date. Okay, that's what we're doing for you every week. We what? gift you a date. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> well, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> Yeah, wow. This oh, is probably and, the one. And by the end of the year, by the way, we're going to fly the top three girls no, we're out for the season that. finale and, and it's going to get crazy. I'm They'll be on the podcast. Top three winners. No. It'll be like perfect match. And but then Matt Marty has to Michael pick one style. and marry them. I'm still... They, they're moving in for a month, I reckon. Look, there's no way you can. You are not going to marry one of these 39 I've literally girls. protested every single time. Look, are you saying you, you, we offer you 39 potential mates and you say no to all of them? No, I haven't said yeah, no to exactly, all of them. Exactly. Saying, so there's want, a chance. I don't want three at the end. I don't want them here. I, I don't well, want well, that we're not, situation. Well, we're not getting more than three, Matt. All right? It's going to be three. No, I don't, uh, don't want get three. Greedy. I don't want one. I don't Matt want wants them all here. here. <coughs> yeah. He wants them all here. I don't want them all here. After the month, you can only have one. They can't oh. all live with you forever. <laughs> Look, we can invite them all if that's what you want. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is Amy. <sighs> Stop. Hello. Matt, shut up. Sorry, Matt's breathing really heavily. Hello, is is this Amy? Yes. Matt, stop it. Welcome to the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. This is the best, biggest podcast in the whole entire fucking world. You didn't even know that, did you? <laughs> No, who yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah. So now when someone asks, oh, I wonder what the biggest podcast ever is, this one, Marty <laughs> Michael for the actual. And we have sitting next to us a very sweaty, I'm nervous, sweaty. shivering, <laughs> got shit in his teeth and he's, oh, he's all fucking jiggling his ass around. <laughs> nervous. He's nervous, bleeding. Matt he's definitely Brown. Bleeding. That's not helping. <laughs> He's bleeding, Amy. And, and he is so excited to talk to you that he was plucking his eyebrow hairs out with a fork earlier. <laughs> Fucking weird shit, man. So we've 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 got him here and you guys we, we want to see if you there's a connection between you. So we're just going to leave you guys have a little chat, get to know each other a bit, see if there's a spark and maybe you come back at the you end can't of the season. Introduce me like that. All right, people. guys, pretend we're not here. No one's listening, no one's watching. Everyone just ignore them and you two go. Hey, 
day, Matt. How are you? Oh, oh. <laughs> confidence. Uh, ooh, look at his Hey, lips. Amy, how are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck, he's sad. such a good start. fucking this up, Matt. Tell, you, tell you you okay. own a boat. Say you own a boat. Own a boat. Talk yourself up a bit more. Talk okay. yourself like up a, a bit. Like a dinghy. Um, oh, I can live 50. <laughs> uh, Amy, where are you from? Uh, the Gold Coast. Oh. oh. That's, the way. That's only an hour away. That's only an hour away, especially if you <laughs> speed on the highway like you do when you're horny. You can probably... <laughs> <laughs> Naughty, naughty. Um, I grew up on the Gold Coast. Oh, things in common. Things in common. Have talked about Gold Coast. Whereabouts? I grew up in Palm Beach. <laughs> oh! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Tell you Matt, love to go on the board. Yeah, yeah. Matt's really, Matt's shockingly funny um, when the fucking the cameras jokes. aren't rolling. He always gets oh, a bit man. shy. Um, Do can, you want to have a go at a joke? No. Um, <laughs> can I... Uh, <laughs> Tell uh, about your cacti collection. Yeah, I got some cactuses. Just tell her about deal. that abortion um, you had to have. Uh, tell me about yourself, Amy. What do you do for work and fun? Uh, I'm a nurse. Oh, cool. Oh, Matt loves uniforms. <laughs> um, I have children. Oh, Matt so loves children. 12 and 8. 12 and 8. Mm. How old are you? I'm like to uh, 33. 33. Do we know each other? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh big brown think you know someone. <laughs> hey, what was that, Maybe sorry? my name's not even Amy. Oh, yeah, you could be lying about... Are you lying about your name? Maybe we know each other. Do you know uh, my boy? Oh, <laughs> oh, Maybe man. she's... Oh. What? Plump testicles. What? Plump, oh. plump testicles. Um, and so what made you come on here? Uh, Michael, he forced me. See, force. See, it I wasn't too forced. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel bad for you. You're forced to come on here. No, you, it's Yeah. No, I no. Look, 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 look. It's a blind date. Blind date be blind date. Yeah, I thought huh? I open and I took it. Amy, if we were going to go on a date, what's an oh, ideal first that, date? That's getting confident. Yeah, stretch out of it. Hey, yeah. Guys. Dinner? A nice dinner. Where would you want to? What type of food? Oh, I like steak. Oh, Matt loves flesh. Oh, he loves flesh off bone. <laughs> so you like steak? So I have to take you somewhere with nice steak. Yeah, or you can just yeah, cook yeah, one at your home. Nice. <laughs> pull one out, pull one out of the freezer, and whack it in the oven. Seafood. Do you like seafood, Matt? Um, I can eat it, but I don't usually eat a lot. Oh, he loves oysters. Nah, that's oh, good. Going for the kiss. All right, can't, Matt's going to try and kiss you. Matt's no, just said he's going to try and kiss, kiss you. you. <laughs> All right, kiss, I don't kiss, kiss, stop kiss in the what? microphone just in three, no. two, Do you agree to the kiss? One. Do you agree to the kiss? <laughs> the, <laughs> you got to kiss the phone. You got to kiss the phone in three seconds. Three, unless you two, don't want to, of course. One. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Matt kissed microphone. Oh. Matt happy have crush on her. <laughs> Did you kiss the phone? Nah, I felt the hesitation. Wait, oh. you've been asking all the questions. What do you like, Matt? Oh, oh I am a mysterious like? case. The table, see? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so yeah, I know. Um, I don't know. I keep quite busy, but so, you know, I. Do oh, this stupid oh, podcast. Yeah, that, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, very motivated. No, very motivated seller. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her that you own houses. Matt owns a couple of houses. Yeah, <laughs> invest, <laughs> he's investing into some startup businesses. <laughs> Wow, There's that was horrible. I don't know. I, I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. trying to impress him. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty simple. I like, I don't know. I like, hum a bit. <laughs> this is never ever going to work. That was me, Matt. Ever. That was Matt what humming. What would happen if you actually really like the person you were talking Amy, to? Amy, this is what I literally like said this the other day. I said, what happens <laughs> if Matt I actually humming. meet someone that I like that and Matt these two humming. would just talk yeah. over us all day? Um, um, that's Matt. That's, that's, that's Matt. Matt making that sound. <laughs> you can imagine the first date. They'd be there the whole way. Oh, yeah. And that's what I'm afraid of. No, we'll be <laughs> the steak. We'll be the steak. <laughs> yeah, I know you would be. <laughs> oh, my God. But I see I'm worried. Wait, isn't Matt meant to be the steak? Yeah, no, he uh, slots a bit off. Meat. 
<laughs> anyway, it, yeah, I, I'm truly scared that I that yeah, like the dream girl will call in and it's just gonna fail because I've got these two hyenas humming that is all the so time. So rude. Nah, that was you humming. You humming then. <laughs> you fucking hum. You embarrassed about sound, so blame us. <laughs> you are the hummer, Matthew Brown. <laughs> but I have to say, Amy, I have to say, Amy, mm. if you can put up with mm. this, you must yeah. have a killer sense of humor. So ah, yeah, happy. they're right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for jumping on the call with us, Amy. I know it's no worries. I know it gets gets a bit weird sometimes because Matt's still very unsure on like how to talk he to girls and stuff. But oh. he's learning. He's learning. So it's if, this kind of situation, it's awkward. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then he got used to it in the background. So. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's not. He's he's just not good in comfortable situations. But he's learning. He's getting there. Okay. And we were trying to help. And anyway, um, if you want to continue your conversation with Matthew Gregory Brown. The greatest haver the world has ever seen. You can. Uh, do you have Instagram, Amy? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you can message him. Yes, you it's can, up to you oh, to I message him. I don't really him. use it. My son set it up for me, and I just don't use it. All right. That's well, so you can bad. use it to talk to Matt Brown one 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 oh, four ones if you want to. Okay. You can slide into one his one DMs. One. He'll be waiting, and you guys can continue this chat. Slide right in there. Because, because honestly, did you? I feel like there was a slight spark. <laughs> I yeah. thought, uh, some um, chem- could you tell? Like, I mean, yeah, some chemistry. I reckon, Especially yeah. when Matt was we coming. Really good media. <laughs> we were great mediators about it. Like, we yeah, sort of well, we, we it. definitely incubated that conversation well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, did. we fucking did. Uh, you so definitely we did very to get well. A few answers out. <laughs> All right. So, well, um, yes. Awesome. So, thank you, Heath, for joining us. And if Matt no um, Matt uh, wants to, um, he he might invite you back at the end of the season. All expenses paid trip to Brisbane. You um, ignore just, this, just, Amy. Just to, um, like, oh my god, a whole hour's travel. Uh, not well. <laughs> <laughs> how about limousine treatment? Limousine, limousine treatment. treatment. If broke. you live on the Gold Coast, limousine. Yeah, treatment. you get limousine treatment, and you can bring oh five god. friends. <laughs> Oh, so make but friends. they have to live with Matt for the month as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll make sure they're all girls, Matt. They, no, they oh, can be men. Sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lookish lily, lily, <laughs> bubbling. Huh? All right, thank you so much for your time, and yeah, um, hopefully things work out with you and Matt Brown. We hope to hear from you again soon. Thanks, guys. See, See you, later. Amy. Bye. See ya. Bye. Mm, that was Matt. <laughs> top three. <laughs> she's top three for sure, man. You guys are. I. She sounded pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And there you guys go. just attacked. No, no you. On, you were like, oh, we this one's working out. This one's working. About. We have to destroy this. No, she oh, man, thought your humming was sexy. So ungrateful, cunt. Yeah. Unbelievable. You get. We put you on fucking forty dates, and you sitting there telling us we're the problem, cunt. I don't see you lining up fun dates, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's true. That's yeah. So true. It's there true you bloody go, baby. <laughs> top three. I reckon she's in the top three now. So, and it's only one at the Gold Coast. So it'd be easy to work if she chose your number one. I, I will say she just nailed the conversation. Nothing threw her off. She was. So you, you love it. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying you have <laughs> many qualities, but you still need to know what she looks like. Oh, I'm Matt Brown and I'm superficial. Yeah. That was me being I'll just, you. I'll just date her over the phone. <laughs> that well, was never me meet. being you. That was good. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's lie to Lockie. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> All right, this is a segment where we call Lockie, one of our mates, and just lie to him every week. We've We've... It's been what two, three weeks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> this will be our third week. But we lie to him all the time. He was pretty upset about the last one, so we're gonna call him, and then we're gonna tell him, dude, did you hear? There was a fucking earthquake in Brisbane today, and the lie is <laughs> that that is a lie. Yeah, so, so it's, it's still like, a lie. It's a, so we're gonna a weird say that, and then we're gonna go. Oh, we no, flip it's just it. A lie. We turn the tables okay, on right. it. Okay. We turn the tables. No, not a chance. Not a fucking <laughs> dude. Nah, wait, dude, just wait. Okay. Did you guys? Right, what did you? Like? Did you guys feel the earthquake today from the Gold Coast? <laughs> You're saying he missed gun. Did you do? Nah. I swear to God. Look it up online right Google now. It. Google, Google it right it. now. Put put me on speaker and Google it. Earthquake in Brisbane today. <laughs> 
Do you... No, it's about, because this is this is part of the prank. You've got me. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, no, you have to look it up, dude. Trust me, you will be shocked. Or look, we are this wizards. One, this one You'll count. Think we're wizards. This uh, this won't count if you fucking just type it into Google and see what comes up. I'm gonna do it. Okay, too. there was a two point nine. Magnitude earthquake. Yeah, yes. very funny voice. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. We got you, sort of. We got you. You didn't Stringy think that, you thought it was a lie, but it wasn't lie. And also, dude, there, there actually there was not an earthquake today. Yeah, it was. I can read it. <laughs> <That dude. laughs> Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> 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 Lachlan, we got you. <laughs> we did it we, we fucking did it oh right, dude, dude we, you fucking, that was you perfect got, you thank you you fell for it again man best lives <laughs> ever you were such an idiot on that one but oh, yeah man very good lucky oh. got you again yeah. anyway <laughs> chat to you later mate see you I'll dude see, I'll see you next week 6.30 eh? no Bye. worries he <laughs> 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 fell for it he <laughs> fucking fell for it everyone that is so funny. Holy shit, he fully oh. Googled it. And it did happen. <laughs> oh. He fully oh. Googled it, man. And then we told him it oh. didn't happen. Oh, man, that's <laughs> optimal work. <laughs> yeah. That's optimization. That clap, Matt. That's Give optimization. It a clap. Oh, fucking well done, us. That is best shit behavior. Fucking oath, man. <laughs> it really is. All right, it's time to move on to quest comment of the week i'm gonna beg here guys all right i'll please, beg a bit please, please subscribe on youtube if you haven't done so and on spotify it's really easy just scroll to the top and you can give us a five star review it really helps out you know how many have we got so far because no one youtube and spotify they don't like this podcast so we, this has literally grown into what it is today through word of mouth do you understand we don't, we're not getting a Spotify podcast show. It's not being shown to millions of people for free. This is ground from day one, cunt. Some of you sick freaks have been here from day one. And you know, you've seen. The shit we do and talk about is never monetized. So please show your support by commenting, liking, subscribing, and five-star reviewing, man. And that's as simple as that, baby. That's very well said, dude. Thank you, man. See, that's I'm it. trying. I'm trying. How would you say please? I'm trying for <laughs> it. Say please, could you do something? Please, could you do something? Oh, fucking hell, Matt. That just, was not bad. Just fucking keep it shut. Okay. <gasps> anyway, comment of the week. And this is a segment, everyone, where we pick a, the comment that we liked the most on last week's episode and we cut it out and we put it on a fucking huge poster right and at the end of the season we pick out of all of the best comments from every episode we pick the season's best comment and that person will win one thousand dollars that is a separate competition to the one we're running where all you have to do is comment and every time you comment it's an entry where you can win a thousand dollars at the end of the season as well where we just pick a random comment any random comment from this season that's crazy that's unheard of man that's life changing all right are you ready no now I am. All right. The cow went to... Celia. Oh, fuck. I was about to say Seamus, but it's Seamus. <laughs> oh, 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 Brown Town. Uh, Brown, Brown Town. So I'm Seamus O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue? Is that unsettling? Yeah. Um, all right. From Seamus O'Donoghue, you got cow. Um, and oh, the comment is... Congratulations, Seamus. Greg's son, Matt Greg. <laughs> that is good Look, shit. Because if you think about it, that is a that is a, a sentence that is is correct. It's a fact. Gre yeah, it works. Read, it, read it again. Greg. So Matt's dad is called Greg. So Greg's son, <laughs> son, <laughs> Matt, 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 Greg. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have to go back into just just remember. How shit the name is if it's Greg. Should I bring him on? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Greg's, man. You'd be so upset if, if you get just... to an age where you understand what names are and then you're like, fucking Greg is I, so I, shit. It'd be good to bring dad on and just be like, oi, Greg. Um, <laughs> oh, the, the guys are not happy with the name Greg. Look at this, this is good. Look at that, man. Oh. What's going on there? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you got me. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. Greg Smith 
thinks that we were talking about him when we bagged Greg. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about well, another Greg. Technically, you were. Yeah, well, yeah you're right. Because yes. all Gregs are still the same name. Yeah, true. Greg. But yeah, Greg was upset at that. <laughs> yeah. Was he? He yeah. sent a message saying, fuck Assholes. you or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck you, assholes. <laughs> that a bit cut about it. Oh. But, Wait, does yeah. he think that I'm calling him my dad? Yeah. Possibly. No, I don't know. He thinks what Greg... he's talking about him, not your dad. Look, I, look, I don't know what Greg all thinks. Greg's, though. I don't I know wish, what Greg I, thinks. I kind of wish he was. Anyway. Greg. Tennis. Say it backwards. Say Greg backwards. Gurg. Gurg. Yeah. That's so, it's the same backwards yeah, as it is forwards. It's the same sound. <laughs> it's the same sound. Gurg, Greg. It's the exactly same, like, the same sound. That shouldn't be like that. Like, it's one of those fun. words that's the same backwards. Gurg, Greg, same. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Greg. All right, you let's move on to one? questions. All right, we're going to answer some of your questions. We answer the ones the most likes first. Okay, so if you want us to answer your question, just comment your question, have a scroll yeah. through, see with which other questions you like, and we'll answer them. Go. <laughs> oh, spiral! <laughs> spiral! That jump around like jumping jack. <laughs> Give see me that now. fruit! Give me that fruit! <laughs> see, this is why we can't have nice things, because you guys fuck them up. You, you put that impulse in. My impulse uncontrollable sometimes. That was... Man, that's risky throwing that through through here, man. You just risked the entire podcast. Yeah, I took a risk and I do it every day of the week. Now sit down, you gumpy cunt. Questions number one. First question is from Casey Blunktock <laughs> and they have asked, hey, Marty, what's your dad's last na name? No. All right, top question went to Ryan Ferdinands. Ferdinands. Um, and his question for the podcast was, um, what is Marty's dad's name last episode? Got me curious. If he keeps it a secret, I'm going to assume it's a name I can't say. It's just a weird, what weird is name. It? It's Shunked. <laughs> Shunked. So, yeah, it's just like people don't really get it. And, and like usually reactions like that. So I don't really say it anymore, ever. Yeah. Shunked. Shunked. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Yeah, it's not good. No way is that his name, dude. No, that can't be real. Sorry, <laughs> that could be a German name. That's what it, I reckon. He's telling the truth. Shunked is a German name. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there are babies. That is so fucked. There's babies right now called Shunked. Of course, the man that produces you is called. <laughs> Now you're getting racist. Now, now you're delving into some offensive territory. Yeah, highly. And, and, and now you're, you're in danger His of grandpa, hurting feelings. And what, what's your grandfather's canceled. name? Also a shunked. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a shunked. Bullshit, that's real. Yeah, shunked. Senior no. and sunk, shunked <laughs> no, junior. No, no, I know you're lying now. No, 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 no I way. swear to God, they have the same name, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what, like shunked senior what, and shunked junior? Can we please m move along? I, so. I'm so offended. <laughs> um, that is so, what about your great, great, great father's name? Shunked. Oh, bullshit. No way. <laughs> But that is fuck. If that is your dad's actual name, wow. Of course. I won't be talking about this anymore. <laughs> okay, next question. Next wow. question is from Rick Standoff. Um, boys, where's the best place to visit in Australia if you had to give me a suggestion of where to go? Go to the movies. Nice answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, where's good in Auslan? No, it depends what you want. Yeah, Brizzy's all right. You got yeah. you got the beach that's quite close, but you still got a city vibe. Fraser and Island, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, what about you go to Yamba? What about the Whit Sundays? Yeah, yeah, I've never been there. How about the Northern you? Territory, Cairns, Tasmania? See you in the NT, yeah. Perth, Hobart. Adelaide, Toowoomba. What about Fitzroy, Cray? Great Dividing Range. Mm. You could drive through the Great Dividing Range. Logan. The, the Great Australian Bite. At Coffs Harbour, there's the Big Banana. The Capricorn. Tropical Islands off the East Coast. What about Texas, Queensland? You got you got the highway that goes down uh, Guangolagong. 
You can go to New, New Zealand. <laughs> you can go to New Zealand here. Yeah. New Zealand's pretty cool in Australia. Okay, New Zealand or it's like, Fiji. It's like the coldest place in Australia, New Zealand. They got fucking crazy high countries. Towers, big towers, <laughs> ice on top. Oh man, that's... I think I've never been there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, next oh. question is from Candace Maher. Oh, Maher. Come on. Here we go. Um, a made up name. No, depending where she's from, I'm not sure. Um, all right, podcast question. Um, did you go? Oh, what were your yearbook quotes? Did you have yearbook quotes? Yeah, when you we graduated? did. Did we really? Yeah, we did. What yours? You remember yours? <laughs> it's yeah. gone. No, that wasn't it. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what it was. Do you remember yours, Marty? No, I lied. I thought we were just gonna make them up. Yeah. Oh, he well. didn't roll with that though. Oh well. <laughs> we'll let's, again. Let's, try it let's, again. Try, let's do it now. <laughs> yeah, but let's, let's, leave. What year, what's let's your, leave everything. In. What's your yearbook quote? I think it was like this one's for Stewie because I was like proud about the rape man that we'd found. Well, like, yeah, he was like, it was like that week that it happened. We had to sort of put something in. Are you serious? I thought we didn't have to do that. No, well, I did because I couldn't think of it like a tagline at that time. That is, used to be your Facebook thing. It used to be things on Facebook where you just had like a continuous like comment. Let's say, and that used to be yours. Anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it was important. So important. Mine would probably be to um, prepare, get ready. 20, 2023 March, it's coming. All right, next question is from Daniel Harrison. Uh, question for the podcast. Uh, it's, my granddad, it's my granddad's funeral next week. Hopefully this comes out before it. Um, he goes, he was always a bit of a prankster. He asked me to pull a prank at his funeral on his behalf. I'm struggling to think of something to do. Can you give me an idea? I reckon hump him. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, do, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, get on it. Get on it on him with a toolie in your fist, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Humping his leg a bit. I reckon some of my cousins would piss my, themselves at that. Like, if I did that at my grandfather's funeral. Oh. If they get that. Yeah, you can hump him. Doing shits is always a good one. That never gets old. <laughs> Just do a shit somewhere. <laughs> Oh. Dude, would you want pranks to happen at your funeral? You could stab. Well, it sounds like he's asking for it. Yeah, so, well, yeah, he wants it. Yeah, but I was like, what about your own? Oh, I would you love that. I would love if to, for someone to sink a knife into my chest. <laughs> <laughs> and then my corpse is spring loaded, so I sit up as it happens, and my eyes are really wide open. And a pre recorded. <laughs> and, and a pre recorded, a really oh. high pitched singing comes out. <laughs> 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 That's what I want. I would probably, I'd fucking, I'd laugh. A I'd laugh spring-loaded corpse. I would laugh mm, if I saw that. That sings once stabbed. <laughs> anyway, and there's a few oh, options there. Yeah. Take what you will. All right. Next question is from. Not that one. Sorry. You didn't like that one. It was about your mother, Janet. <laughs> your mother, Janet. Oh, um, Janice. Next question is from Dean Moore. Um, after seeing fans at the Champions League file get tear gas, would you do a video based on riot control? That's not bad. And I thought that was excellent. Dude, we should do a video. Which riot gear is the most dangerous? Well, it's going to be relevant. Or which, um, or which you know, riot defensive mechanism is like, you know, is it a shield? Is it tear gas? Is it a hose? Like a high power? I feel like, yeah. Like and the can- people will need it. Yeah, I need to know, and then they need to know how to defend it so they can get through the, you know, the government. All right, look, I'll write it down. So right. there you go, Dean. Uh, next no, question is from, from Dylan uh, B. Martin, what? what's some weird German food that you enjoy? Praise the motherland. Gehacktes Fleisch. Okay, it's mince. The Germans eat a lot of raw oh, f- raw meat. Is that a real thing? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have Gehacktes Fleisch. As Ge- Ge- Gehacktes Fleisch. Oh, oh is it real? Gehacktes Fleisch. Yeah, it means mince meat. Hocktus Fleisch. <laughs> it means mince meat. Hocktus Fleisch. And the, and the meat in Germany is so good quality, right? That you, for breakfast, you sit down and there's a slab of raw mince in the middle of the table. You shut your mouth. <laughs> and you get a shitload of mustard and a bit of rye bread and you carve a bit off and slap it on. And you put the mustard on and you're down and down and you're having raw meat by 9 a.m. You can't. Could you do that? Yeah, that's what happens all the time. It's fucking delicious. And you Wait, put so a you did on. that in the morning sometimes. Yeah. I ate large amounts of, of raw meat 
Raw. Gehacktes Fleisch. <lacht> <lacht> Gehacktes Fleisch. Mince Meat. Gehacktes Fleisch. Wait. Gehacktes Fleisch. How do you say Gehacktes Fleisch. Gehacktes oh. Fleisch. Fleisch. Gehacktes Fleisch. Oh my so God. So how do you say Matt's... See, it's like a... We coat. How do you say Matt's Mince in German? Matthias Gehacktes. <lacht> What? <lacht> Matthias Gehacktes Fleisch. Is that your name and then Gehacktes Fleisch? I mean, it's Matt's Mint. Oh, wow. It sounds like Martin. Yeah. Matthias. <laughs> Martin und Matthias. Michael. Michael, Martin, Matthias. Gehacktes Fleisch. Gehacktes Fleisch. And then you'd have like, you'd have, it'd be <laughs> Wurst, Blutwurst. It's this like sausage thing made out of blood. Oh. Shut your mouth! You shut your mouth! <laughs> We were peasants! <laughs> <laughs> We were nothing! We had nothing! We were scum! <laughs> Holy shit. And uh, yes, there's all sorts of different Vorsts. There's, <laughs> there's, there's liver cream, Leber Vorst. You smear it on some rye bread and oh, slack it down your gullet. Junk. <laughs> 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 Is that your dad? Shunked. <laughs> Shunked loved his gehuctus flash. Shunked and his gehuctus flash. Shunked gave Shunked uh, gehuctus flash. You and your dad eating gehuctus flash together. Mm, my you father gehuctus flash. <laughs> you and your shunked. Shunked. <laughs> anyway, that's what we ate. Fuck. Um. All right. Two, <laughs> two questions left. Oh God. Um. Awful. Lots of like liver and. Would you like a question or a fuck Mary kill? Ah, oh, you decide, Brown. All right. Question for the podcast from Donut Films. No, Donut Films. Um. Uh, Strikes again. Fuck. Oh, sorry. He said I got this wrong. Mary have kill. Um. Mary have kill. Jackson Julian Bosley. I know this one. Be easy. Ah, oh, that's tricky. Eh? I don't think it is. Look, it's their human lives, you know? It, like, I'd have to probably marry Julian, <laughs> kill <laughs> Bosley, <laughs> and fuck Jackson. That's not what I expected you to say. Very good. You and Julian married would be... Un <laughs> I know, it'd be so funny. Uncomprehensible. <laughs> <laughs> I would... um. Mm, that's quite a difficult decision. <clears throat> I'd fuck, then marry, then kill. All three. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> Very good. And that, that took a lot of thought. Don't dis discredit that. I thought about that scenario hard. It's even for I'd, everyone. I'd do, I'd do it for all three. <laughs> 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 it's there's such a process three things with every person like you gotta yeah, fuck, is, marry them yeah, fuck them and then you gotta murder them yeah. <coughs> all three times that's a I guess I thing. could murder first maybe it makes things easy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> less leg work <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Fucking whoa, cunts. Whoa. whoa. Shank. Whoa. Shank. <laughs> oh, oh. His father's name Shank. Shanked. Wow. God, that's flash. And oh, the final okay. question <sighs> comes from Zach Jeanette. Jeanette? Jeanette? Oh, shit. Jeanette? Um, um, uh, we see a lot of um, we see a lot of our uh, a lot of fans of the podcast and your website uh, repeat a lot of the phrases you say. So his question is: um, Do you guys love or hate when the audience repeats your phrases such as "clang clang" and oh, "fly lie"? Fucking love it! You it's hilarious. Spread the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious that the dumb shit that we say yeah, is, is people thing. people are catching it. 
and it's like spreading. It's like we're, we're just fucking, yeah, it's fucking yeah. hilarious. Continue to do it. We will change the world together. One cling clung clung at a time. Clung. One fly lie at a lie. My fly lie clululua. Jacob Dickerson like nailed, I'm sorry about that in our live yeah. with us yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, so sorry. Funny. Oh, did he come on the live? He went in and woke up his housemate. Wait, what did he do to her? Or oh, hissed at her. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> after that, timed the perfect, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. It was so good, dude. Yeah, the sorry's, and like, I see comments like sometimes we get like a hater every now and then and then one, a fan will just reply, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so puffed up. Sorry, it's pride. Make it, yeah, Sorry, it's make very the world funny. Go around. Pride is one of the seven deadly sins. Oh, I get no. I just I like the giggles I get from it. But yeah, I guess you're proud of it. It's a cool. Yeah, hundred. It's a nice man. little dictionary we've come up with. Alright, that's it. New language. <laughs> wah, wah. I, was, I was hoping it'd be. Tch, tch. And now it's time for the PO unboxing segment. This is a segment where we open the boxes and the shit that fans send us to our PO box. Okay, we get sent all sorts of fucked shit. You never know what is going to be in one of these. All right, let oh. me tell you, we get sent some fucked crazy shit. PO box. 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland, Australia If you want to send us Anything Like literally anything We open it live On the podcast This one's fragile It's a very heavy box We're pretty um, excited Yeah I have a feeling I know who sent this one But Is right. it dangerous well, do you Or good you reckon It could be dangerous But not dangerous to open It says Poured a passion By Amber I can't read that word Amber Oh Matt You are so wrong What do we have here What oh. is this Oh are they candles Oh, they're wow. candles! Oh, oh someone for did our birds! Yeah, they're candles for our birds, and look at cock candle. Is that um, a cock candle? Look at yeah. that! Holy shit! Uh, someone that did send me a message awesome. to explain whose candles are whose. Okay. All right, let's let's um, hear about it, bro. We haven't uh, got it. All right, look at this. Yeah. All right, let's just give these guys a shout out. All right, it's called um, ones for each of your girlfriends. Ones for me. I think you guys get the dick. All right, so this is from Poured a Passion. Okay, Poured P O U R E D, and then a Passion. If you want to follow them on Instagram, they do fucking cool candles, mm. and I can already smell them. So I reckon they're pretty bloody good. It's P O U R E D A P A S S I O N X. Poured a passion X on mm. Instagram. Go and have a look and say thank you from the fucking fully actual army. Yeah, the dick smells good. Everything smells good. Wow. All right. Do you have that message so we can do um, this? I do. Show? I do have the message, so I'll go through and I'll find out who's after. Who's All right. Let's after. have a quick whiff of this, eh? Oh man, smell that, dude. Oh. Fuck, that makes me so hungry. Oh, that is just pure vanilla, and that is insane. Smell. Oh, smell that. Smell that. No, you smell that. Smell that. You smell that. Oh yeah, watermelon. Oh, Give that's dude. fucking hot. Oh, what is that? I'm Kiwi. making me so hungry, dude. And mm. strawberry. Oh, 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 fuck off. I just want this on my fucking nose forever. Oh, yeah. Oh, this yellow one's so good. Mm. Oh, man. I, I want to eat some. Yeah, eat it. I think eat it. It's a can. Have a bite. Let's just see what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> just a smaller bite than that if you want. Okay. Just a little nibble. Let's see if there is any flavor in there. From memory, candles are quite poisonous. No. Yeah, I just said that to freak him out. You can suck on it. It's a bit <laughs> burns your tongue a bit. <laughs> well, so there's flavour. Oh, it's mm. in your teeth. Is it sugar? Mm, not really. So it's not, probably not sweet I, at all. I reckon, like, if we were alone, <laughs> yeah, if I was alone, I'd eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, guys. They smell so good that if Michael was alone, he'd eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Poor right. person, baby. All right, let's. Um, yeah, I'll find that message and I'll know who's. All right, let's see what, what Matt um, Brown's hater has written him this week. All right. Do you want the other big box too? <laughs> yeah, fucking fuck it, man. Let's open the other big box. It's always fun opening. Oh, gift. fucking hell! I didn't see that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. So how did that get through the mail? <laughs> Surely someone's seen that. Like, what the fuck's that? He's put a swastika on the um letter. So um yeah. Ooh, crackly. Man, that, like, to be Bubble honest, wrap. that soap is burning my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't eat the soap, everyone. Don't eat the soap. It's not soap, man. It's candle. Maybe have a drink of flea. Oh, I thought it was soap. <laughs> no, it's candle. <laughs> it's okay. Candle. 
So. Oh, shit. i got to be careful with these notes, don't I? have got to be candle with those notes. Or could have come on it. It's actually dear you guys, but I'll still read it. Okay. All right. Dear Marty and Michael, inform Matt Brown, I, the hater, he refers to me as I just want to let him know that my dad never <laughs> left me. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but Matt doesn't know I fuck around with your letters when I've written in as some name I can't pronounce for the life of me. Um, my dad never left me, but that's all. Matt has something to say because he's retarded. <laughs> I will also be writing another letter. Oh, on the back he has the war letter. To the boy... <laughs> To the bald, fat cunt. <laughs> oh my God. So watch out, Matt, you fat, bald. <laughs> you fat, bald, twisting testicle head cunt. Love from your retarded autistic parents. <laughs> Did your oh parents write that? No, it's from the... Oh. <laughs> Michael, do your parents write that? I too much weed for you. Um, uh, yeah, dude, I... You're never going to hide the fact that your dad left I think. You. I think, l hater, next time, send through your phone number. I think maybe we should organize a fight between you and Matt. No. A boxing <laughs> don't put the a boxing no, match. No, don't put the violence out there. It's good banter between us. Okay. I think, right, what right, if look. it is your actual parents? It's not my parents. Okay. All right, look, I've just opened this big box, all right? There's a letter in it that says, Sorry. read me slut. All right, to my dearest Marty Michael and Mr. Browntown bachelor extraordinaire. <laughs> Kyle here, AKA pub daddy. I am on your table. Yes, the pubic hair guy. Oh. Previously, you asked for pubic hair, I sent it. Then you asked for more things and here they are. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Uh, oh no. Anyhow, Marty, special. keep up the good shit and please... Oh, and please and keep Mister Fine in his and his sick wife stories alive. I enjoy him very much. Michael, Google en Enchephalitis Lethargia or, or find a podcast. Very interesting shit, and I think you'll find it fascinating. I know I did. Mister Brown, he's right behind you. He's standing right behind you. Keep up the search for love, my friend. Just remember, when life gives you lemons, just say fuck the lemons and bail. Live by this, and you will live your life at the most conscious livable here. I'm a going now. Enjoy. Also, sorry, Michael, I would not obtain a beaker or Bunsen burner as I have no fucking idea where one will require them. <laughs> so I got you something just as cool. Enjoy. Also, if you want to send me something cool. Do it. We can swap shit, and yeah, we get we all get stuff. Cool. Bye now. I love from Pub Daddy. Thank you very much, Pub Daddy. Right, I'm officially fucking nervous to Just open this. Just be careful. I Everything is wait, insane. Oh, there's something on there already. Yeah. What the fuck is that? All right. Look, there's one package here with Marty written on it. I don't know what I asked for. I've forgotten. Oh, there's like a. This is part of a Kinder Surprise toy. No. Oh, it's a Lego Man hat. All right. We got Matt's here. Matt's got that. Michael, this is yours. No, Michael, you got a proper chemistry set. Make your own I avalanche. Reckon, you know how he wants us to send shit back? Like actual shit? Yeah, he wants to like trade shit, he said, like just so we oh, can we sort of start everyone gets stuff. We could start I reckon that. let's send him this back. Oh, wow, look at this. Let's look at some stage in previous podcasts, we must have asked for these things. A rocket launcher, and I've got underwear here, like new good underwear. Hopefully there's nothing in them. Oh, Michael, what have you got? I got a chemistry set, which is okay, but I prefer <laughs> the Bunsen burner. Do you no, want the avalanche? The <laughs> That's got an avalanche mountain. What does that mean? I don't know. And I got, I got. <laughs> well, actually, else. this has got a beaker in it. <laughs> yeah, see, we can use that for science shit. We'll put that in the lab for sure. You dog. Send me some cards. Oh, NBA. NBL. No, he sent me NBL. <laughs> No, he fucking literally oh, like. Oh, you can start your NBL collection now. Still, that's fucking cool shit. <laughs> Thank and you. I see the avalanche. Pub daddy. Wait, there's more in here. There's more. Fucking pub daddy. Thank you very much. What what do you got there, Matt? Condom or something? What is it? Oh, is that a condom? No. What is it? It looks like skin. <laughs> a, okay, so Give us a look. hang on, hang on. There's, there, hang on. There's, there's parts to this. Would you eat it? No. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so all right. Um, what's the famous motorbike stuntman? Travis Houdini. No. <laughs> I reckon Jeff. His name was Blight Flondered. Um, <laughs> Houdini. Evil Knievel. Evil yeah. Knievel. So it looks like an evil Knievel. Um, Lego Fish. man. But he looks like he's wrapped in skin. <laughs> You you tell me because that looks like fucking skin to me. 
Yeah, I guess it does kind of look like skin. Eh? It can't be trusted. <gasps> oh what? yeah, wow, no, that is skin. He's gotten sunburnt and just wrapped it around. So, so the pub daddy has, I think it's skin. Pub daddy, um, correct us if we're mistaken here. Um, Lego man wrapped in skin. Yeah, hold on nice close to the camera so the people at home can see what the hell that is all about and comment what you think it is, everybody. If you've ever seen anything like that before, comment and see what you think it is, everybody. He's got NBL cards from 1994. 94. How did I know crazy. that? crazy. All right. Thank you so much. Everyone's sending shit in the PO box. We just got sent skin and gifts. A fucking... It's probably not much fun to watch, but I love getting gifts. Don't touch them, cunt. They're mine. They are fucking my underwears. So, dude, these are like. And I need new underwears. <laughs> Unopened pack of thirty years old. <laughs> That's crazy. That's Open them now. Crazy. Can I have the avalanche? Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's you. see what this is all about. It looks like a, you build it. I don't know what that is. Oh god. Maybe I'll get an Andrew Gay's signature card. And that is the PO Box segment, everybody. Push well, your um, hands together. Very right. good. <laughs> that was nervous then. Yeah, it was. That yeah, was a little nervous. bit on edge. Right. Charles against the character, okay? <laughs> oh, yes! It's time for the prank call. Did you put your phone? Good afternoon, welcome to Meta. How's the street? How can I help you? Yeah, no worries. Um, look, I I'm just looking for a particular guest. Um, mm -hmm. would, you, would you be able to tell me, uh, I'm just searching for someone that I know, if a, um, yep. if a Grant Flyn is staying at your um, hotel? If you could tell me that. And Flyn is spelled F-L-E-I-N. Yeah. 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 Um, Mr. I Flynn. believe. Um, I'm so sorry, so I can't give you the information <laughs> on that. Look, do you do you know who who my who, who Grant is? Is that why you're not telling me? <laughs> do you know has has Grant spoken to you at all or not yet? Ah, uh, not not that. Right, right. Cause so I, I I kind of know for certain, right, that he's uh, at the hotel. Actually, he's um told me and sent me pictures of him at the hotel. So I'm assuming he's uh. he's gone to reception and asked you not to say anything to me. Is that correct? Correct? No, no, it's not on oh, that. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's so, with the hotel so, so, policy. So, that so, Right, right. So, so, so you're telling me basically that you would definitely tell me if Grant Flynn was staying at the Meriton. No, so we can't share the information on that. Right, right, right. So you're saying that you can't tell me at all and that you won't tell me. Um, it's, it's not so we can't. Can you, um, can you, so, can you sort of see how that's quite frustrating? Can you sort of see yeah. how that's quite frustrating for me? Yeah, I'm sort of just trying to find um, where this where this person is, and you're not giving me any help. I can't help you so on that. Well, 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 listen, listen to this. How about I come in, okay? I'll come in, okay? I'll check every room, right? And we can both see if Grand Fine is staying there. How's that? I can't help you on that, providing well, look, look, look uh, here, right. for you. Well, is, is that okay if I come in then? Is that quite all right if I catch an Uber in? Yeah, you can do that, but still we can't provide you any information on that. Okay, look, I, I, look you're being quite rude to me now. Quite no, frankly, sorry, you're being right. quite rude, okay? And I'm not having mm -hmm. any of that. Is there someone in a higher position of authority that I can speak to? I can hand over to my manager if that you need, but you just have Yeah, to. that would be lovely. All Thank right? you. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Supporting it. Small business. Yeah. <laughs> mm, no, I'm looking for Mr. Flynn. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm certain he's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Supporting um, lots of small businesses, basically. Yeah. Keeping the economy going. <laughs> local. Source things local. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. It's exactly right. Yeah, no, it's great. Good evening, Matt from Herschel Street. This is Matt. How can I help? Oh, g'day, Maddie. Um, look, I was just speaking to uh, one of your employees. Um, and and I'm just trying to find out. Okay, I'm trying to find out if one of the guests staying at the Meriton is the man that I know. Okay, I know someone is at the Meriton, and your staff um, is refusing to tell me what room he's in, even though the man has specifically asked me to come to the hotel to his room. Okay, yeah, so do you want to talk with the guest here? Yeah, yeah, look, I'd just like to know where, where the guest Grant Flynn is staying, in which room? Yeah, so what was his last name? Flynn. Grant Flynn. F-L-E-I-N. Flynn. 
Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Just trying to sort of support small business and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not having anything come up registered under yeah, that name. No, I'm that's sorry. funny. That's funny that you're saying that because I've actually seen photos of Grant. Right, he said he has sent me photos directly of him at the Meritate. Okay, sir. Thanks for shouting at me, but we don't need excuse, that. Excuse me. I, I am not a <laughs> sir. Okay. Oh, we lost the hook. <laughs> we lost the hook. <laughs> But that was very, very entertaining. Oh, Holy sir. fucking shit. He thought I was a sir. <laughs> I'm not a sir. Oh, that was a woman. <laughs> yeah, Margaret is a woman. But very nice how you sort of took it to the next level. It's hard to re... I, I think about that um, that prank call with that, that restaurant that we called, you know, the screaming one. And it's really hard to recreate that um, type of like the from normal to screaming. Mm. Oh, is it hard to progress into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It, it would take a lot of energy. You practice. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll have to do more Margaret. You know <laughs> what I just realised? <laughs> that you clear for now? The, that <laughs> hotels must deal with the most fucked people. Yeah, to, prostitutes. To just, yeah, just oh, to can we call go back? all the way through. Um, if you have any prank call suggestions, please comment them underneath, right? We, who knows? We might even do your idea. Give you a shout out. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of episode uh, 16. Four more episodes. Matt Brown gets a new chair. We are the best Best Best